In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run multiple instances of Claude code in parallel. Firstly, I've already created myself a simple setup command that uses the Gitpod CLI to launch an environment and also automatically start Claude code. As you can see on the right hand side in the Gitpod interface, we see a new environment has now started. What I'm going to do is also start multiple environments as well at the same time so that we can see how this looks running Claude in parallel. Let's go ahead and give Claude a prompt to make a change inside of this environment and then we can preview the change directly. Whilst Claude is working on that first task, I can go ahead and prompt Claude in the other environments to start working on different features or bugs at the same time. And here we can start to pull up the different previews for those different changes that each of the agent is making in their own isolated environment. We can see the changes to make the home page yellow, as well as blue and even green. Because this is running in Gitpod, you have access to a range of different editors, both in the browser and also on desktop. I can simply jump into my editor now if I want to inspect the changes the agent has made, or if I want to, I can purely stay at the conversational level and looking at the preview. And here we are now inside of VS Code. So we can see the changes the agent has made, we can review those changes, and even make direct edits to those manually. But how does all of this work? Gitpod works on the principle of environments as code, which means that every environment has a declarative configuration file that specifies any tools, dependencies, or access that the environment needs. If we go ahead and open up the dev container for this specific project, what we'll see is actually we have installed the Claude code CLI via a dev container feature. In this case, Gitpod is actually configured to run inside my cloud environment. That means all of my source code, data access, etc., is running inside my own private network. And there you have it. Thank you very much.